Welcome back in business. Uh, appears to be booming at a local brewery in, as uh, Gil likes to put it, romantic Willimantic. There are some great things on tap when we go cruise in Connecticut this morning. News 8's Ryan Christopher is here with a look. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Hey. Nothing says 6.43 in the morning like beer, right? Uh, obviously. Right. That's the thing to talk about. This weekend, brew enthusiasts from across the Northeast will unite in Willimantic for the Thread City Hop Fest. So this is a former U.S. post office. It was built in 1909, and then it was vacant pretty much for 30 years till we renovated and uh, opened up in 97. So we're celebrating our 20th anniversary. Uh, There's going to be around, what, 45 breweries there? Probably closer to 74. 74? It, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It does. Every year. We're in our fourth year. This Sunday, April 30th, is the fourth annual Thread City Hop Fest. About 17 or 18 food vendors and great music. It's a really fun day in Wilmantic. We also have some of Wilmantic's great restaurants serving food like Kathy Mantic and Willie Brew and Cupcake for Later. As you see there on Karen's shirt, Romantic Wilmantic. How romantic is it here? Oh, I love it here. I, I grew up in Bridgeport, went to Yukon, and then stayed in the area. So I know I think this is a great town. But uh, me as a brewer, I'm always trying new ingredients. But I also know that the core of making something is that it should taste good. The beauty of what's going on today is there's so many people now that are opening breweries and distilleries. There's a lot more product available, new hop varieties, new yeast varieties. So it's a, it's a creative palette that anybody can have some fun with. And as you can see now in Connecticut, we have so many breweries opening. We'll probably have over 60 breweries in the state of Connecticut alone before the end of the year. One of the cool things about the Thread City Hop Fest is you get to come out to enjoy great beer, but we also, over the last three years, have had the opportunity to donate quite a bit back to our community. We have donated over $60,000. All right, guys, so this event is in the quiet corner, which Gil Simmons just claimed. He, he said he, he created that, that <laughs> and, whole saying. Is that a Gil Simmons? Well, this is romantic Willimantic. True. I mean, right, right, right. Well, you're, you're from that's that a nice area. spot. Yeah, yeah Killingly, not far from Willimantic. Awesome. Beautiful area over there. I Check never it out. know who coined that term. This weekend. Mm. To think I've been working with you yeah. for seven you years. No, 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 no. I think he should trademark it. He could find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, there's time to do that. He's got the patents. All right, guys, check it out this weekend. Threadcityhopfest.com. Going to be right. a big event. Looks Thanks like a great spot there, though. Awesome.